Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the video. It is going to be another full week of eating. It's probably gonna be shorter than some of the other ones, but I did wanna take you through what a week looks like with a holiday in it, because I get a lot of people asking how I handle the holidays, how, if I like am compensating for it, whatever it is. So I figured it would be best to just take you through this entire week, um, including Thursday. So like I said, I probably won't be chatting too much with you on Thursday because I'm obviously going to be hanging out with my family, spending time with them, enjoying all the Thanksgiving food. But basically you're just gonna see that I'm, my goal is to keep my routine the exact same leading up to Thanksgiving and then go right back to my routine after. So we'll see how it goes. I have already meal prepped some food, so you will see that here in a little bit. But my next meal of the day is my frozen mocha smoothie. meal of the day one Dan and Light Fit Greek yogurt with raspberries blueberries and the kind blueberry granola yum not that much time has gone by it's three o'clock well I guess yeah it's been like an hour and a half since I had my little parfait I'm hungry again and Chris and I meal prepped our ground turkey chili yesterday so that's what I am about to have I haven't been weighing any of this out just because I'm still not tracking macros. Um, I will try to put like the macros on the screen at the end like I normally do, but I am not tracking macros right now. I'm just eating intuitively. Um, if you watched my last one and just have been watching my vlogs recently, my whole goal after the wedding was to get back to more of just eating at maintenance. My workouts have stayed the same. Um, yeah, my goal is just to be fit, feel good, um, perform well in the gym, still enjoy life. So I'm not tracking macros right now, so I'm not weighing this out. I did track for a very long time, so I am very good at estimating things. Um, that's not to say like I'm sure my serving of peanut butter is a little bit more <laughs> than it should be, but overall I tend to eat the same food, so I'm pretty good at like gauging where I'm supposed to be. But recently I've just been trying to listen to my body and eat when I'm hungry, stop eating when I'm full, um, and just try to stick to like healthier options. So my main goal is still, especially through the holidays, is not eating out a ton because obviously when the holidays do come around, you do tend to eat a little bit more than you normally do. So my main goal is just to eat whole, clean foods, cleaner foods, um, and just eat in, because that's huge for me and stick to higher protein. Um, so anyway, this is gonna be my next meal. I did just post a little comment box on Instagram for everyone to ask questions. So I will start answering your guys' questions throughout the rest of this video. I figured that would just be an easier way to make sure I hit on all the topics you guys were asking about. So I'm gonna eat this. I'll see you at the next meal. And I'll start answering some questions. cream of rice in so long there it is so I have cream of rice instead of oatmeal because I didn't necessarily want a bagel but I need more carbs I feel like I haven't had enough today and I'm very hungry so cream of rice has a little bit more carbs than oatmeal does I think this has 36 and oatmeal only has like 24 and I added some raspberries and egg white omelet with turkey bacon and like the tomato medley we don't have the peppers and onions like I normally do or else I would have put that in there and mushrooms. So this is gonna be my next meal of the day. First question we're gonna answer is from M underscore Foy. Tips on binging. Never struggled before, but I feel like I can I can't only eat one treat. I feel like this isn't just like one little simple thing you can do. In my opinion, and what has worked for me um, is just 
overall throughout like my day to day, I'm not too restrictive with myself. I think when you are too restrictive with yourself, that's when you have those binging tendencies. That's how it was um, when I would get off of prep. I felt like I had to eat everything I wanted when I could because once I started my diet, then I couldn't. So. I think the best way to avoid binging is to allow yourself to have those little treats when you're craving them throughout your day-to-day -day life. So don't be too restrictive with yourself. That is my best advice. starving we were sitting on the couch and my stomach would not stop grumbling so is it grumbling or rumbling um, I don't know if there's like a... <laughs> what are you doing so anyway I'm gonna have a protein bar because I don't know what else to have I was super hungry on my way home from the gym, so I already finished my smoothie. That was my next meal of the day. I will put the ingredients or like the recipe to this on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, you do have to order this specific powder. I think it's called like mocha java. You're seeing it on the screen right now, but you have to have that in order to make it. I did order it one time and was making them at home. I don't eat out often. This is like my Starbucks, I guess you could say. So. I just like the convenience of it and I normally have a lot to do after I'm done at the gym. So I purchase this very frequently. Um, they have a little punch system though so I always get a free one after however many purchases. Anyways, Mindy Sue <laughs> asked, do you recommend vegan or whey protein? That is personal preference. They are both great. Um, in my personal opinion, whey protein just tastes better but if you're a vegan, obviously, go with vegan protein. Um, the new Bomar vegan protein is very good. I love the blueberry um, and the chocolate almond. I got little samples of those. I think they're delicious. So they're both good. It just depends what you prefer. Um, best way to enjoy vacation without guilt or losing progress. So I think a lot of people struggle with having this guilt after either not being able to work out for a couple days or after eating foods that they wouldn't normally eat. And just remember that it's all temporary and if you're sticking to your routine before and then getting back to your routine after, there is no reason to stress out. A couple days isn't gonna kill ya, you need rest days anyway. So if you're on vacation and you don't have access to a gym, don't worry about it. Or your bigger priority is spending time with family, spend time with family. Now, you could always take into consideration like if you're someone who has really big goals and it is kind of important to you to stick to a specific diet or whatever it is if you're not able to work out you're obviously your like your energy expenditure is going to be a little bit lower so try to go on walks um, and just be mindful to like drink more water try to eat healthier on the days you can't work out but in terms of just one day like thanksgiving or christmas or whatever it is enjoy it there's no reason to feel guilty. One day is not going to kill you. If you're on top of it the rest of the year, literally that one day is not going to make any difference. You might be a little bloated the next day, but that's fine. This isn't food related, but holiday shopping dot 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 Paragon or Balance and why? Thanks. That is from Jas Jasmine Z. <laughs> um, this is tough. I would say overall, if I had to choose one, it would probably be balance just because I feel like I wear their stuff more. But 
the last Paragon try on I did the um, with all the everyday leggings and the Sierra crop those two I think are amazing the everyday leggings are awesome and they're more affordable balance is a little bit more expensive obviously so I don't it's hard to compare brands that aren't at the same price point because usually the quality is a little bit different I will say with Paragon they're probably the only company at that lower price point that still has such good quality like I, I don't think the fact that you're only paying $38 for a pair of leggings, like it doesn't seem like they're $38. They seem like a a very good quality pant. So I have trouble comparing brands that aren't similar in price point just because the quality is usually a little different. So I would say probably overall balance, but I truly love both of them or else I wouldn't, I wouldn't promote them on my channel, obviously. So this is a good one to end on. Best Lulu leggings for cardio. In my opinion, I would say the Fast and Free Tight. Any of their Lux Dream material or new Lux is amazing. Check out my Lululemon gift guide video. I talked a lot about that. I will link that down below as well. Um, I talk about all of my favorite leggings in there, what's good for lifting, what's good for cardio, but I would say Fast and Free Tight. I'm gonna go shower because I'm gross. <laughs> And I will see you guys at my next meal, which will probably be soon because I'm already hungry. Just as I expected, not that much time has gone by and I'm hungry again. So. I have chili, the same turkey chili that I had yesterday. Um, we still have a little bit left in that one Tupperware container and then a full other one. So expect to see this the next few days. But I will have this recipe linked down below along with all the other recipes I normally use like the buffalo chicken, the white chicken chili. I'll have all that down below because I know you guys are always really interested in new recipes. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my next meal of the day. Once again, didn't weigh it out. just took a healthy portion to help fill me up because uh -huh. I am absolutely starving. It's a little after six o'clock. Um, I love Beef It Cafe. It's local to us. I used to get a pizza from there, but I'm trying to be healthy. So I have a wrap with very light cheese. and chips and salsa and I'm still starving. So I made a packet of the lower sugar maple brown sugar oatmeal and a little spoonful of the pumpkin pie protein almond butter. Hopefully that holds me over for a little bit because I'm still starving. Another night, another low fat fudge bar. Ah! Yum. Way to go. What are you doing? Huh? You gonna eat the food? Next meal of the day, like clockwork, was my smoothie already gone because I was hungry. Now I have to get back to work. I'll pet ya. Do you just want some loving? I've been working on my computer for a while. It is 2:21, having quite a large bowl of chili and then a bagel. We are. I think I mentioned this. Probably gonna go out to like a bar tonight or something. I'm not gonna have any more than like two drinks but I normally try to save some macros if I plan on doing something like that because obviously alcohol has calories as well and they're just basically empty <laughs> so hopefully this holds me over for a while and then I'll probably just have like a smaller snack before we go out but this is what I'm eating right now Per usual, I was craving something sweet after I got done with the chili and the bagel. So, my little fudge bar is gonna hit the spot. Put myself together a little bit, it's later in the day. My next meal is going to be this chicken, pepper, onion, something, rice, I don't know. 
from Kroger. It's just like a pre-made meal, but I figured I would answer another question from Morgan Brown. If you go over your macros, how do you alter the following days after to get back on track? Um, that's a really popular question. I get that a lot. And my biggest advice to like the general population is to just get back to your normal macros. I think the second you start trying to like compensate or like kind of punish yourself by doing extra cardio or by limiting your macros the next day even more. I just think it creates an unhealthy relationship with food or working out. So I would say go right back to your normal macros. Um, if you're someone who's on like competition prep or something that you're obviously gonna have to make. Can you do that again? No. <laughs> uh, you, you might have to be extra active the next day, I would say, um, but yeah, I would just go back to your normal macros. Oh, how do you resist the temptation of all the sweets? If you're talking about on the actual holiday, I don't. I eat all of the sweets. I go a little overboard probably, but it's only one day, <laughs> one special day out of the year. A couple of special days. What did you just do? I just did a TikTok dance and she didn't like it very much. Okay, right? let's do it. No, no. Come on. Like I said, it's, Show not, us. it's not for the people. <sighs> I finished my meal and I'm still hungry, so I'm munching on veggie straws. And no one asked me this question, but my favorite snack? Everybody was The straws. They're so good. I don't like the cheddar ones, I don't like the ranch ones. The normal straws. the next morning um, I just got done working out and my first meal of the day is my frozen mocha smoothie I normally would eat something small before coming to the gym um, we we're working out from 5 to 6 and I woke up like actually got out of bed at 4 53 so no time to eat I did make it here like just a few minutes after 5 so I booked it here I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right it's either mad eyes 2 or Maddie's 2 something like that Thoughts on working out on the holiday. Totally personal preference. Um, I Working out is my stress reliever, so I just always feel really good starting my day off with a good workout. Um, doesn't have to be high intensity for me to enjoy it. That's just what our workout happened to be today. But I like being active on the holidays. Um, once again, it's just something I love and it really is a stress reliever for me, so that makes my day more enjoyable by starting it off with one. If I was traveling and didn't have access to a gym, I probably wouldn't work out, but because it's so convenient for me, I do. That's just, that's just me. I don't make my clients work out on holidays. Like, the holiday is totally up to you. Totally up to you. I choose to work out because it's convenient. I enjoy it. it makes me feel good, and I can enjoy the day more after working out just because like I feel like it gets my endorphins going I'm in a better mood do you work out on Thanksgiving Day if so lifting slash cardio both um, I did no cardio today at least all of the cardio I did was like built into our workout so we just basically didn't have any rest that's usually what my workouts are on holidays I try to do some kind of like little circuit one so it's a little quicker so I'm not in the gym for like a full hour or hour and a half doing cardio and lifting I'll try to do some kind of circuit workout, a Metcon, um, so I kind of get lifting in and get my heart rate up. So that's what I really enjoy. And like I said, it's quicker. So like our workout today was 45 minutes. I didn't have my Apple Watch on, but Jake burned like 700 calories. So I would assume Jackie and I burned like 500 maybe in 45 minutes. So circuits are really nice. Um, once again, faster. <laughs> All right, let's head home. I need to edit a YouTube video and get that posted. <sighs> These are so good.
first Thanksgiving festivity. Um, we're going over to Chris's aunt and uncle's house. We're not eating there, but we're just gonna hang out with them. And then we're gonna go to my grandparents. So for the meantime, I'm already hungry. Um, I'm gonna have a protein bar as a snack. <clears throat> I don't have my phone out, but real quick, I did have a question about if I like, how do I treat macros the day of? Do I eat the same or try to like not eat during the beginning of the day and just save it all for Thanksgiving meals? Um, I eat the same. I feel like if you try to starve yourself all day, you're just gonna end up eating more of the Thanksgiving food because you're starving. <laughs> um, so I feel like if you eat throughout the day, you're not gonna be as hungry and you probably won't indulge in as much of the food I don't know but I'm just eating the same I still will have very healthy portions later today but I don't like being hungry uh, so we're not going to starve ourselves and a protein bar sounds good I count macros on Thanksgiving. We don't. No. <laughs> no. Okay, Dr. you've gone too far. The human body wasn't meant to withstand that amount of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving was amazing. We hung out with everyone and uh, I, yeah, I didn't talk to you guys <laughs> at the end of the day, but we left my grandparents and went over and hung out with Chris's siblings and I didn't eat much of the popcorn. I had a few handfuls of popcorn that they put out, but I did have three glasses of wine. Wow, crazy for me, but back to it today. Frozen mocha smoothie. I didn't record much of the workout because it was very difficult and I b barely got here this morning. <laughs> day has gone by since I have had a real meal and since I have talked to you guys. Um, I don't know if you can see the veggie straw bag right there. Chris and I did some Black Friday shopping after, or just basically like going around to see if there was any good deals. Um, after we went to brunch and I got that bag of veggie straws and we were both really tired. I didn't feel the best, so we came home, laid on the couch, I ate a good portion of those veggie straws. I had a handful of, couple handfuls of Skittles that he got um, and I haven't eaten anything since then and I just didn't feel like grabbing my camera. But I am about to have a smaller portion of the turkey chili from what we made earlier this week. I'll probably have something sweet after this because you guys probably know by now. I always crave something sweet immediately after I'm done eating. So this is going to be my next meal. Today has just been kind of weird because I haven't felt super great. Um, like those veggie straws sounded really good so I had those. Um, but overall I feel really good because I still don't think I've like overeaten today and I did work out this morning like you guys saw the little portion of so we're getting back on track it's all good found this super cute well I don't know if I would necessarily say it's cute but it's comfy this like sweater sweatshirt dress <laughs> at Target so I'm gonna eat the chili we're probably gonna go do a little bit more Black Friday shopping and I will see you guys at my next meal. Alright, Black Friday shopping was a 
success I got well I'll show you guys in another vlog this video is already gonna be way too long but next meal is oatmeal um, the lower sugar maple brown sugar oatmeal with probably about a serving of the pumpkin pie protein almond butter um, I assume this is last meal of the day because I have to go to bed soon because I'm working out at 6 tomorrow but if there's another meal I will show you guys and if not I will see you in the morning just showered when I left the gym um, the lifetime cafe wasn't open yet so I couldn't get my smoothie um, but Chris just got back from the gym and he brought me my frozen mocha with peanut butter so this is going to be my next meal it's the OSU Michigan game so go bucks and yeah I have a lot of work to get done today and get caught up so I think we're just gonna stay here but either way take you through show you my meals next meal the same wrap I got last time from BFIT um, we need to go grocery shopping, so this was like the healthiest thing I could get, and I didn't want to leave the house. First of all, OSU won by a lot, so go Bucks. but the, I'm really, really hungry. <laughs> I would like a salad or something, but like I said, we need to go grocery shopping, so protein bar is going to help for a little bit at least. Got up, went to Kroger, got some food. Something has been in my eye. Ugh, sure me in pain. But Next meal is going to be a salad. I just got like the mixed green lettuce and then, Lily, stop it. I did get like a pre-made and cut chicken because I was feeling a little lazy and I did the fat-free raspberry dressing. That's the one I always used to use when I was dieting. Um, I just actually really, really like the flavor of it. And I put some of the slivered almonds and cranberries on there. So I'm gonna eat this and then I also got a little snack because on the weekends we treat ourselves a little bit. We don't go overboard, but um, I love these and veggie straws. Those are like my always my two go-tos. Hey, nope. Um, I used to get candy on the weekends with him, like Friday and Saturdays, and I don't do that anymore just because it's not even worth it at this point. It hurts my stomach really bad, so I'll have like a couple handfuls of what he has. Um, but I'm not even gonna do that tank. He got gobstoppers, which Woo. are gross. Woo! Well, too bad you can't have them because you don't like them. I don't like them. So anyway, um, ever since I stopped doing that, that has actually made a huge difference. Obviously, candy is very high in sugar, and oh, stop it! What? <laughs> um. Obviously candy is really high in sugar, which means it's naturally higher in calorie. They add up very fast. Um, so yeah, even if you eat really, really good all week, but then eat a bunch of candy and stuff like that, that adds up really quickly over the weekend, it will take you out of your deficit for the week or just put you over your maintenance. So it's, it's not the best, but anyways, we're gonna eat this. Looks good. Mmm. That is good.
next meal and the last meal of this full week of eating is going to be protein waffles. It's one scoop of the protein French toast. I will have the recipe linked down below. It's just one scoop of protein powder. Every protein powder will work a little differently. Bomar creates theirs to bake with, um, so theirs tends to work pretty well. Um, so I do one scoop of that, either one whole egg or an egg white, um, and then I don't really measure out the baking powder, but I just like sprinkle a little bit and I probably should have measured it. I'll look back, I know I measured it out one, one time, so I'll link that down below. But that's gonna be my, ma my last meal. Thank you guys so much for watching the full week of eating. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below. The whole point of this was just to show you guys that I think that you should be able to enjoy the holidays. Just because you have fitness goals and just because you live a healthy lifestyle doesn't mean you still can't enjoy yourself every once in a while, especially on the holidays. It makes me really sad to think that some people don't take full advantage of hanging out with their family on special occasions like that because they're stressed out about food. So try to enjoy the holidays, Christmas, New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, all of them um, coming up. So, and happy Vlogmas. This is the first video going up. So I will see you guys tomorrow because we're back to daily vlogs. Oh boy. <laughs>